Hello, science people. Today, I want to talk to you about biological molecules. They're called biological molecules because living things make them. There's another name for them. We also call them macromolecules. Let's keep in mind, micro means small, macro means large. So macromolecules are large molecules. These are biological molecules because they're so large, they won't happen on their own. Something living has to form them or make them. So that is why they're called biological and macromolecules. Small molecules like water happen on their own. Small molecules like our ozone or oxygen, these happen on their own. You have uh, atoms that are bouncing together and they form covalent bonds or they form ionic bonds. And then we have these small molecules. Well, large molecules don't form on their own. Something had to put its energy into these molecules to bring them together and help them form. These are the molecules that we eat. Non-biological molecules don't usually have a lot of energy. Water has hardly any energy. Air has hardly any energy because it doesn't have high energy bonds. And biological molecules do because the living thing put its energy together into these bonds, creating the molecule. To give you an idea of some of our biological molecules, they are carbohydrates, which are sugars. We have lipids, which are fats and oils. We have proteins, and we have nucleic acids. So these are the things that we eat and get our energy from. They wouldn't exist unless living things built them and put them together.